a nine millimeter round. Who thinks that it is the best all around round? I, tell you, I know a lot of you love your nine millimeter. It's about time we spoke about the nine millimeter, a little bit about the history of the round, who developed it. I really think that it's probably the best, most versatile all around round there is. You know I'm a huge lover of the 10 millimeter all arounds. I love them all. In this video, we're gonna focus on the nine millimeter. I like to start this out with a couple of trivia questions. Who designed it? Okay. If you guess this one, you, you're really good. Who, des uh, who designed it? During the intro, trying to think of the answer. What year was it designed? Nail the year on the head. And here's a really tough one. What does parabellum mean? Because a lot of times when you buy an ammo, when you talk about 9 by 19 millimeter, you see the word parabellum. Hmm. What does that mean? We're going to answer those questions here momentarily. Let's talk about it. Welcome to WeaponsEducation.com. The 9mm, one of the best all-around rounds. Who developed it? A German named George Luger, going way back. What year? 1901. 1901. It goes back that far. I think this is interesting. What does parabellum mean? Well, the answer is uh, there was a manufacturer, a German manufacturer named DWM. It's a long German name. I don't want to mispronounce it, but for short, DWM. They manufactured it, and uh, the Latin term of Parabellum means their motto back in the early 1900s, the Germans, if you seek peace, prepare for war. <laughs> this round was developed for war, and it was uh, certainly used in World War I, World War II, and all the way up until present time, there's approximately 60 to 70 percent of all military law enforcement agencies use, use the 9 millimeter in some way, shape, or form. And all of us civilians also use the 9mm. This is a this is a very famous ram. We're gonna look at a couple of guns here from the collection. Let's talk about ammo. My wife is here, Tammy. Thank you. Say hello. Hi, hi everybody. Thank you. Please take a look down here and get a really good close zoom at these three rounds. Now, right here is a 380. And in case you don't know, a 380 is a shortened nine millimeter. Okay, same casing. So let's move the 380 out of the way. And here we have a full metal jacket 9mm. And here we have a hollow point 9mm. And on average, depending on who manufactured the ammo, they're going to run about 12 to 1300 feet per second. These babies are humming expansion on the hollow point up to 0 0.70 of an inch, about three quarters of an inch. So this little 124 grain bullet will expand when it hits human flesh up to three quarters of an inch, flying at 12 to 1300 feet per second. Talk about deadly. I do like this ammo, the double tap. I keep this in a couple of guns I'm about to show you. And this one here, as you can see, plus P. And by the way, you know, who knows what plus P stands for when you see it on different rounds like 38s and stuff like that. Over pressured cartridge. Hence the word pressured and the letter P. So I mean these nine millimeters ammunition of today. It's just, they're so hot, they're, they're loaded, so, so incredible, they're extremely deadly. Let's look at a couple of guns. I pulled a couple out of the collection for your enjoyment. And we'll start with a Glock 19. I know a lot of you are Glock lovers, including myself. 
Let's talk about the Glock 19 briefly. Uh, a lot of people think it's a, it's a blocky, blocky gun, but I'm going to compare it to a Beretta PX4 Storm. These are both 9mm. One thing I like about the 9mm is you can, depending on the gun, you can get enough rounds in your magazine to satisfy yourself. Uh, anywhere from 13, uh, 15, 16 rounds, depending on the size of the gun. This Glock 19 is, um, in, with, in Glock's terms, they call it the compact version. And it's a 4-inch barrel, and this is 15 plus 1. So now's a good time to grab this Glock 19 with all the hoopla going on about reducing magazines to only uh, 10 rounds. At around $600, approximately, the Glock 19 is a great choice. A lot of people say they're blocky at 1.2 inches thick. And this beautiful Beretta, the smaller size gun, is this one is uh, thicker at 1.4 inches, and it's a smaller gun with a 3 inch barrel. And the Glock 19 has a 4 inch barrel. What I'm getting at here is really look at dimensions and what you're getting. Uh, I do love this Beretta. Let's take a close look at the Beretta. And, you know, I'm Italian. The Italians. They like, like, if you're eating lasagna, they like to put a lot of mozzarella, a lot of sauce, and they like to fatten it up a little bit. And this, uh, these, these Berettas, they're a little bit fattened up, and they're, but they, you know, they got a lot of weight to them, and they're nice chunky guns. They, uh, if you like that, you, t you carry this, Tammy. This is a great gun. And it's about $600 also, but it's a 3-inch barrel, and the sight radius is 4.5 inches, you know, compared to, um, the Glock, which has a much longer sight radius, as you can see, from here to here and here to here. What I'm pointing out is when you buy a, a 9mm, you do want to look at the specifications on the company's websites and think about the size of your hand and what you're going to use it for. If it's, it's for concealed carry, if it's for next to your bed, whatever it's for. If you're a Leo and you want to carry it, two great options right there. Throw in your comments on what 9mm you prefer, because I know all the manufacturers make excellent 9mm. All divisions of law enforcement, military use this, and there's a reason for it. It's because they're incredible rounds. Take a look up. I want to say goodbye, and I want to thank everybody. I haven't spoke about the 9mm round uh, since I started the channel, and I know there's a lot of you who are 9mm enthusiasts. I think it's an excellent, excellent choice of a caliber. Let me know what you think. My name is Tom. Please subscribe. Thank you.